Welcome to another episode of Eberhardt Outdoors. This is John Eberhardt, and this is going to be a very short video. Shortest one I've ever done, anyway. This is a brand new 2023 Matthews image. Now, this is replacing their ladies' bow from last year. But this one has the same cam system that the VXR and the VX3 has. So it has modules that you can change for your draw length. Also, it has heavier limbs and the riser is different than the one they sent me last year. So this is brand new for this year. And I have a tremor, as anybody that watches any of my stuff knows, because I've said it a gazillion times. As I get older, I'm shaky. Um, and I have noticed even when I'm practicing that when I draw my bow back, my arrow quivers back and forth. And it, the padding on these is not that good as far as the arrow. If it's slapping side to side, it made a little bit of a noise. So what I did on my VXR, which I absolutely love that bow. This one here is going to right now be my backup bow. Well, I took these little rubber bands that came with Rocket Sidewinder mechanical broadheads that I used to shoot. I don't shoot them anymore because this bow here, and what I'm shooting now is a 40 pound bow, and this one is 33 to 43 pounds. I got it set at 40. So what I did is I took these little rubber bands that held the blades in place on those mechanical rocket sidewinders, and I put some rubber band, put those that four of those little rubber bands on each one of these prongs on this drop away rest. So now, if the arrow does any movement side to side, it doesn't make any noise. It would, it was making a pretty healthy noise. So when I've, when I've been shooting this with those on, it's made a major difference. So I know most of you people don't have a trimmer, probably 99% of you do not. But still, if you're anxious and you get overly excited when you get a shot opportunity while you're drawing your bow, you may shake a little bit and that arrow might make some noise hitting the sides, hitting the sides of these, as opposed to hitting the rubber. You can tell the difference. Much, much, much less noise. Um, so when you're drawing that bow back, it's gonna be a lot quieter because the rubber dampens dampens the noise. Uh, so I, sec su I suggest doing that on your drop away rest if you're having any issues with that. And you won't really notice it unless you're actually shooting at a deer because if you're shooting in the yard, I'm sure you're not going to be nervous and anxious and shake. <laughs> You'd have no reason to. But when you're drawing on a deer, a lot of people do. So I've never had that issue. Uh, but now I just have a... Uh, tremor and I do it whether I'm excited or not so that's a quick fix just takes a few minutes uh, if you don't have any of these little rubber bands laying around uh, you could probably go to Hobby Lobby or just about any place and buy some really small rubber bands and put it on and loop it around three times and then slide it down to where you need it so where the arrow hits it something very simple just guarantees that if you are shaking a little bit when you're drawing a bow back on a drop away rust with prongs on it that you're not going to make any noise with the arrow hitting it side to side while you're in the drawing process if interested the links to many of the podcasts i've been on or for information about my two-day whitetail workshops that take place in march and april please visit my website at d e e r dash j o h n dot net Thank you for watching another episode of Eberhard Outdoors and to receive notifications for future videos, please subscribe.